Shigworth with my host, Michael Levitt. Zan Bando. Let's do it. Okay, uh, today we'll be we'll first talk about the Chicago area sports. Now, we'll start with basics. Eh, how about the 103 season World Series drought Cubs? Well, <laughs> I don't think they can win this year. They're actually going to trade away, they're probably going to trade away Dempster and Garza for some more prospects to make their farm system better and make their team better in the future. Okay, okay. well, okay, well, my insight on that is I don't think they should trade Dempster, but definitely trade Matt Garza for a young talent. But the Cubs suck. So, as I just I'm a fan, we're horrible. So, that's it. I don't want to get in any post game analysis here. Okay, I gotta say, I agree with you, Z Zan. Yes. I said I got it right. They should not trade away Dempster because, well, number one, he's the first. He leads the league in the the National League or the league? National, the National League. National League and ERA. The Garza. <laughs> trade him. He's a choker, too. Okay, what about the White Sox? What do you guys think? Oh, uh, well. I bet uh, they're, I, I gotta say, they're probably gonna take it to the World Series, but they're gonna lose, I gotta say. Okay. My they're gonna beat the Rangers? Okay, my input well, on this, that is. Okay, go. Hey. I said, well, first of all, number one, they're going to be doing this because I think they swept them. True. But are they going to beat everyone else that they face? No. Well, let's think of, let's think of we'll them. I'm saying in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, we'll you got see. a chance, but they might lose to the Yankees. Okay, well, my insight on that is I don't agree with you on the World Series, but I do have to agree with you on this. They won't make the playoffs. Uh, they will make the playoffs, but I think they'll, uh, they'll fall a series short of the World Series. Because I don't think they're ready for it. It'd be, it's, they're still a rebuilding young team, if you just realize that. I, I agree with you, Zan. Um, okay. okay, now on to the Bulls. Okay. Well, well Derrick Rose is, uh, is, is uh, healing up after his fall in Game 1 of the, of the NBA the Does doctors round? say he will miss the first half of the season? Really, first half? Of the, yeah, I guess the first half. But luckily, they drafted Marcus T, and and, and they picked up uh, Kirk, Kirk Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. So, my insight on the Bulls is this: if Kirk and uh, Henrik can fill in for Rose and play as good as. He can play. I think we're going to do well. But other than that, I think we're just going to try to hang on for dear life until January. I th think we're still going to make the play. That's but you know we'll see. Now into the Bears. What are what are your um what what, what is your ins and on the Bears and with um acquisitions like Brandon Marshall and getting Jason Campbell from the Raiders and and the Marion Barber trade. I think that's pretty good, but we have we're about we're we're out of time, and I gotta go go to the store and get some spices. But well, okay. by the way, I do think the Bears will go ten and six. Okay. Me too. Me too. I, I would I would have to agree with you there. But we already know one more thing that we are probably going to settle for a wild card because we already know Green Bay will win the division. So. Okay, but that's it for for now for my, for my partners, Michael and Zan. I'm Ellie Corey. I'm this sorry. is Sports Channel. <laughs>